there, I'm Rebecca from The Master Musician and I'm here to show you how to take care of your saxophone. What I'm going to show you today will work both for alto or tenor saxophone. It's basically the same thing as far as cleaning and maintenance. So first of all, you may notice that my case isn't shut. Why is my case not shut? It always needs to be shut. Here's the reason. <sighs> Little Johnny left his band book in the case. If little Johnny does that, what's going to happen is, well, first of all, you can't close the case. Second of all, what you're doing is squishing the keys and hurting all these rods and all these teeny tiny parts. So the only thing you should have in your case is your instrument and the accessories. Please, no books in your case. Okay? Now that we've addressed that, put that over there. Now our case closes just fine. So, one thing to remember is to always open your case right side up. It's easy to do it upside down at first when you're still learning how the case works. With Yamaha, it's really easy and a lot of other brands because the logo is right on top. I have it laid down, the logo is on top, also the name is right side up. So I know that my case is correct and I can open it and be safe. And my saxophone will not go rolling all over the band room floor. Up the latches and this is what your case should look like. You have your saxophone, your neck, the mouthpiece, and your neck strap. The neck strap keeps most of the weight of the instrument off of your body. It's a difficult instrument to hold by itself. <coughs> so to start out with, what you do for the very first thing, this is going to be in here, you pull out your reed guard, pick your reed, and stick it in your mouth and suck on it like it's a lollipop. Just like that. Now, since I'm talking to you, I'm gonna pull it out of my mouth, but the whole time I'm talking, you should have this in your mouth because it needs to be nice and wet so it'll vibrate real easily so you can make an easy sound. If you put on a dry reed, it's not going to vibrate and it's gonna be really, really hard to make a sound. So keep that reed in your mouth, okay? So, to put my saxophone together, I'm going to start with the neck strap. If I have the neck strap on, I know I will not drop my saxophone. All you do is put it around your neck. <clears throat> That's it. You have a little clip on here. And that clip is going to go on this ring right here on the back. So take my neck strap. Put it through this hole, and now I know I can let go of the saxophone and it's safe. It's not going to fall on the floor. You may notice at the end there is an end plug. This is very important to always replace after you're done playing because it protects this little key right here. So always when you're done, put in your end plug. But you can't play with it in, so you have to take it out. You just put it in your case. So, then we have our neck. To put your neck on, make sure this is a little bit loose. And push and twist. Should be nice and easy to push in. And then tighten up your screw. Now at this point what you want to do is feel the cork. If the cork feels kind of dry, it's going to be difficult to get your mouthpiece on. I've lost my cork. Here it is. So you have this cork grease that looks like chapstick, but it doesn't taste very good, so I would not recommend putting it on your lips. So you twist it up a little bit, put some on your cork, it's a little messy. What you want to do, you don't use a ton, you can see how you can see I put a glob there, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread it around with my finger. You get really used to this very quickly. Make sure, make sure it's nice and slippery so that your mouthpiece will go on easily. Okay? And then if you have a napkin right next to you, you wipe off your fingers. Okay. Your reed is still in your mouth, right? You're getting it nice and wet. Now you take your mouthpiece out, remove the mouthpiece cap. You don't need that to play. 
Loosen up your ligature screws. That's what this thing is called, it's a ligature. If you loosen it too much, the screw will come out. Not a big deal, but then you gotta put it back in. Okay, so then I'm gonna push my ligature up towards the tip of the mouthpiece so I can move it around, just like that. And I'm gonna take the reed out of my mouth. I'm gonna slide it in very carefully. And these things are very fragile, so be careful. Especially in the beginning, you will tend to break them, but the more careful you are, the less times you'll break them. So where does your reed belong? The tip of the reed should be just barely below the tip of the mouthpiece. And it's always centered. You kind of wiggle it around until you put it in the right place. The ligature, the top bar should be just below the shape of the uh, mouthpiece here. And then tighten your screws. Now don't muscle man tighten these, they just need to be snug. The, the screws are actually real easy to break if you twist them too many times. It just needs to be tight enough to hold the reed on the mouthpiece. That's it. Okay, then you take your mouthpiece and you put it on your freshly greased neck. Twist and push. Always twist when you're pushing. And it should be lined up. Your, the screws of the ligature should be about lined up with this black circle, which is where your left thumb is going to go. If it's over here, it's gonna be real difficult to play. So make sure it's pretty centered the reed to the black circle. Okay. So now it's ready to play. That low note's always fun. <laughs> okay, so you've had a wonderful time practicing your saxophone. Now you need to take it apart and clean it every time because you've made a very moist environment in your saxophone. And if you don't dry it out, what's gonna happen is the pads that close all the keys, they're gonna start to deteriorate. They're gonna fall apart. Also, you will have growth in here that you really don't want. So clean, we need to clean it, get it as dry as possible on the inside. So since we still have our neck strap on, we know that our saxophone is safe. That's the biggest thing so you don't drop your saxophone. So, number one, loosen your ligature screws. Push your reed up and remove it. And then put it into your reed guard for safekeeping. Make sure it's flat and centered. Slide it in and put that in your case. Next. I take off my mouthpiece. And I'm also gonna just set this in my case so I, again, I don't drop it because I tend to drop things, as everyone, all my friends know. <laughs> then we're gonna loosen this screw, the next screw, twist and pull, and take the neck off. Again, putting it in our case for safekeeping. Finally, we grab the saxophone by the bell with our hands so we know it's not gonna go anywhere. Carefully unhook our neck strap. Replace the end plug. And put it in our case. So now it's completely safe. We know we're good to go. Now we need to clean it. We're gonna take off our neck strap. we have our mouthpiece sitting right here. So to clean that, we have this little guy, he's called a mouse. And you simply put the mouse in, take him out. Put him in, take him out. A couple times, and your mouthpiece is clean and dry. You put your mouse in your case, replace your ligature. Again, tighten the screws, but not over tighten. You don't want to break the screws. Find your mouthpiece cap, replace that. 
and then turn it into your tape. Then for your neck, in our cleaning kits at Master Musician, we do have a separate neck cleaner and Yamaha has one as well. For today's purposes, I'm just going to use the same cleaner for the neck as I use for the saxophone. But it is kind of nice to have a smaller cloth to go through the neck and you're not dealing with a bunch of stuff. So this is a, clean, a silk cleaning swab. You completely unwrap it so it's nice and flowy. And all you're gonna do, pull your neck out, drop the little weight through the neck and pull it through, just like that. Then with the saxophone, now I already put in the end plug, so I'm gonna pull that back out but I didn't want to lose it. This is the biggest thing that's lost, so I want to make sure I didn't lose it. And what you're going to do is just like you did with the neck. Some people put this through the bell, some people put it through the top. Either way is fine. I put it through the top. Drop it through, feed it through, and what's going to happen, be very careful when you're doing this so you don't drop your sacks, it's going to pop right out the bell, just like that. And then you pull him through. Now I'm holding it on the crook on the bottom here. Again, make sure I don't drop it. If you've had a really long band rehearsal and you have a lot of moisture in here, you may need to do that a couple times to get it all out. You be the judge. Now I'm going to put the, my end plug back in because I didn't lose it and lay my sacks back down. And this little guy, you can wrap him back up and put him in your case. Finally, to keep your saxophone nice and shiny, you have a nice polishing cloth for the master musician, and you simply take the parts and you make them nice and pretty again. Wiping off all your fingerprints. Also make sure to clean this little tenon right here because if dirt builds up on him, it'll be difficult to put him into the body of the saxophone. You don't want that. If he's clean, you'll have no problem. You can clean all of your, all of the tops of your keys, the rods, always be gentle. This is, has a lot of parts. Never go between the keys, because you can pop stuff out of place and then your saxophone won't play right. So just always be aware of what you're doing. You can clean it all over. So then when you open your case the next time you play, it'll be beautiful. Okay, put all of that stuff that's nice and easily in your case. And then I didn't put my band book in my case, right? Because that doesn't fit. Close it and we're ready to go. So remember, if you take care of your instrument, it will take care of you. If you have any questions, please give us a call at the store or visit our website at www.mastermusician.net. Thanks and have fun.